We are about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the New York Giants and the Buffalo Bills. Taken in at the three. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Jones looking to throw it on the first play. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Now Jones. To Barkley on the check down. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. To throw again on second down. Jones and this one taken in on the right sideline but not in the field of play they say it's incomplete the throw led him a little too far it brings up third down out routes are always timing routes and if the timing's off just a little bit it can really throw off a play it looked like he led him a little too much there yeah there was a fraction of a second because he caught it just couldn't stay in bounds throwing Jones got a man open it's Darren Waller and he will have a Giants first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 36. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. That's caught by Waller out left side. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And it brings up third and five now. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long. And now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. They'll look to throw again. Got an open man. That's Campbell. 
And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 20-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Back to throw. Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. Looking to throw. Jones. He's going to be sacked. Back in the 23-yard line. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Well, they started the drive backed up pretty deep, but a nice effort to overcome the field position, get into field goal range on the game's opening possession. And Brandon, I think from where they started, the initial thought was, can we get one or two first downs and help out our defense after we pump the ball away with field position? But as that drive went on, I think their sights got set a little bit higher. They were thinking touchdown, ended up settling in between and coming away with a field goal. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start the drive with Cook. And some room to maneuver. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. James Cook, 75 yards. And the Bills have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. And one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Touchdown pass to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. 
And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you gotta like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Jones throw taken in by Slayton. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And they'll be facing a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Now Jones on third down. Got a man, Slayton. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Here's Jones on first and 10. And he wisely will throw that one away. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. So a line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. Back to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. On first down, Allen works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. And he's out right at the 25. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone structure here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and set him on a crossing route. And this works really well when you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. Finding room at midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Allen with a throw caught by Diggs. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. Throwing on first down is Allen. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. 
They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're gonna win those, too. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Allen hit. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. The kick by Bass is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's when your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. through the field goal. Here's Bass to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Gregory Russo able to bring him down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Meanwhile, Jones' throw complete here to Waller. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? From just shy of midfield, Jones. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. On second down, here's Barkley. 
And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit. But how about guys who are maulers? Because that's who you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical downhill running. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Isaiah Hodgins was his intended receiver, and it's third down and two. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time they face a third and two, and he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Daquan Jones in on the tackle there. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Again, it's Barkley. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Giants are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partners. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roll, and he found it. Ten apiece as the kicks away. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose. But you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure. Because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now here's Allen, and Diggs has it. 
And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Here's Allen on first and 10. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Naeem Hines, his first carry. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 28, it's second and five. To the air, Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Bills. Gabriel Davis, an 11-yard touchdown as his guys have now moved out in front. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that went good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and Barkley hit in the ball, pops free. Now this is picked up by the Bills. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play. You've got to take care of the rock. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. His throw caught right around the six. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two.
They try again with Cook. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. James Cook with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. Well, fair to say they've got something here, this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time in the ball game. And Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover, a lot of competition at that spot. But he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on. Touchdown Bass to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. Last time out they had the fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them. Get out there now and get some points on this drive. Throwing again on second down. Jones got a man. It's Darren Waller. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Throwing on second and long. Jones, slant pass, hauled in by Campbell. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Barkley inside handoff. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Throw left side complete. That's Hardy. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Three yards remain for second down. Here's Hallett. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Call it a gain of a yard. And now that sets up third and two. 
Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much game than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip tap, tip tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. But well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Allen to throw once more. It's complete to Diggs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Allen now looks to throw. And Davis has it over the middle. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And oh, off the crossbar, no good. A sensational effort from that distance, but rejected by the bar. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park with the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Now Allen. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Hines, dancing away at the 35, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to the ground, this time Cook. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And yeah, he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. To throw again on second down. Allen, they'll roll him out right. 
And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 28. Give them 12 yards on that one. It earns them a fresh set of downs. At this point, this offense feels like they could just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end. Not when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. Allen now on first down. On the slant, he's got Davis. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. On first down, Allen. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. You know the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen and then you do your blocking. How about the read though by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Running left, it's Barkley. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. The defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York.
And this is a beauty as that ball is going to angle out at the six yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They're continuing to rock and roll and at intermission, you know, maybe sometimes you fear after such a good first half of a letdown, but that, that wasn't the case. And what I remember most about being in those situations is exactly what you're talking about. You almost have that sense of satisfaction. You're like, ah, we're doing really well. But I remember one time someone saying, winning's fun, but so is playing really well. Why would we want to do otherwise? That was, that was the mess. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try and buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Fielded just inside the 30. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Working with a second and three. Throwing Jones. That is caught downfield, it's Waller. Touchdown, Giants! Darren Waller, 61 yards. And the Giants get a bit closer. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's wrong. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Gano the extra point, and they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Throwing now is Allen. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And the Giants are going to take possession of the football. They'll try and get this run game going. This is Barkley. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On the draw, this is Barkley down to the 25. They got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. They know that old expression, it's not my night. 
it hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On third down, Barkley. Yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And they'll run for it with Barkley. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. Second and two, first down marker at the eight. Looking to throw, Joe, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys are gonna take over at the 21 yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. <laughs> On play action, Allen, and he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Aziz Ojolari, his second sack of the night. Well, he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try and protect the... Under pressure, they got him again. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up four. And it has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today, but on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something Sam out. Martin. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. This is taken at about the 14. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Jones now throwing on first down. He's got Slayton on the slant. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Five yards remain on second down. Back to throw. Jones. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Gregory Russo. 
Bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. And then the drive by career here. Defensive coach Joe Ray said, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. To Barkley on the check down. Able to slither by. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture as now they've got a first and ten. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand the field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun. Jones. He's got this complete to Robinson. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Looking to throw. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Touchdown, Giants! Saquon Barkley. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Giants have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there, and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. touchdown here to kick it away this one fielded at the five and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line the Bills come to the line to start their next drive and with that last touchdown I mean we're set up for a good finish here some things to consider Charles obviously it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter, defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, and getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 14 yards that time for number 14. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. That gives him 98 yards in this game. And he's got to feel pretty good about that. But the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now. And here's the thing. 
getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football. And that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. On second down, this is Harris. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Back to throw, Allen. And Diggs has it. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Cook up the gut. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now it's Hines. And able to work his way down to the 16. Gone an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Allen to throw. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance, but that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice, that one more stop. I feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow, what a way to finish this one off. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Oh, we all just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome was in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. Great effort from the guys visiting. But in the end, how about those guys in their home 